In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a grab bar in your tub or shower. Hey folks, welcome to Basic Plumbing Repair. And in this video, we're going to talk about how I install a um, grab bar, like a handicap ADA or whatever, um, grab bar in a tub and shower. And real briefly, this is going to help, you know, if you have any um, aging folks or folks would maybe have trouble getting in and out of tub or shower, this will help. So you're going to need a few things for the project. And first you're going to need the grab bar. Really helps to have a drill, cordless drill works really good. Um, you can, a screwdriver, I'm actually going to use a screwdriver on the good drill. You're going to need some anchors of some kind. These are the ones I chose and I chose these because you can see they have a 77 pound um, load weight, I guess, load limit. And there's going to be three per end of the grab bar. So that's going to put about 240 pounds per end. So that should be fine. And then you're going to need a masonry bit, something to drill into tile or whatever, if you happen to have tile. I do in this case. And this is a, it comes with a bit, but just in case, I went on and bought another one. Uh, wanted to talk real briefly before I get started. Now you may, you could use a level and other things, maybe a stud finder to find a stud. You know, every application is different. So in this one, I've got tile. This is like 30, 35, 40 year old tile. Chances are it's got um, wire lath or wire, they put wire mesh up on the wall when they didn't build these houses and did this kind of tile. And they put um, tile grout into the wire mesh so it kind of, you know, clumps all through the, through the wire and they put the tile on that. So you're going to have a really uneven back. It's not necessarily going to be an even thickness or anything else. So some of the anchors that you might use for drywall that, that go in a certain distance and flare out may or may not work. Um, you may not, a stud finder may or may not work in your application. A stud may not be where you need it. So these are 18 inch bars. Typical studs are 16 inches apart, so you, anyway, la 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 la, it's not gonna work. So I just elected to use go with the anchors. Um, please, whatever. I got to give you a little disclaimer here. Don't follow my directions, and then something happened to get mad at me. First of all, if if you are a, if you base anything important, any important decision in your life on a YouTube video, then it's probably not the best course of action. But what I want to do here today is to show you how I would do it and maybe um, some of the tips and hints that you might pick up will be helpful to you. So, Okay, so as you can see, this is the bottom of the tub. We're gonna put one on the end and we're gonna put it about, move this up somewhere about right here. And I'm gonna to try to center the tub. So obviously the center of the, center of the, uh, of the bars in the center of the tub. So we'll go ahead and take care of that right now. You will also need a measuring tape. I forgot to tell you that. Okay, so the first step is gonna to be to find the location for the bar. So we're going to find, need to find the center of the tub. This tub is 28 from the tile, 28 and a half inches to the center. I mean, from the end, from the corner to the edge. That means your center is going to be 14 and a quarter inches. All right. Then you want to figure out how high you want to put it. Okay. So in this application, we have decided we're going to put the bar about right here, somewhere around here, right along center along that grout line. So. You could use a level and really try to get it all, all fancy, but really it's going to look better if the grout line is not exactly level, if the bar is in line with the grout. So if you got a grout line, just go ahead and use it unless it's really, really bad and don't worry about a level. So this particular bar, you can just pop these little covers off, just pop them off and that's going to expose the mounting flange. And Center to center is what you want to find the center to center measurement. And the easiest way to do that instead of trying to hold this tape, you know, here on the center to here, is just start on the end here and measure to the to the um, beginning of the flange here. That's going to be the same as the center to center measurement. In this case, it's, it is 18 inches, just like the box says. So we we'll take our pencil and mark the center of this. Uh, I'm find my pencil. The center of this row, where we're going to put it right here, we want to go 14 and a half inches from the corner, 14 and a quarter inches from the corner. That's going to put our center. Okay, just a little line. We'll, we'll, we'll clean that off later. And then if it's 18 inches, that's going to be nine inches on either side is going to be the center. So nine inches here. And 18 inches, make sure that's held in at nine and mark 18 here, however you want to do it, as long as you got nine inches between the three. So that's going to mean that 
the bar is going to be center to center right here. Now, the best thing to do is go ahead and mark this up a little bit here. You can see it. This, will, this is just pencil. It'll, it'll wipe off if you get it off quick enough. And then go ahead and a little higher. Okay. And then just kind of get your, your flange where it needs to be, center to center. And where you want it so it's centered on the scrout joint would be the simplest thing to do to make it easy. And then go ahead and mark one hole. If you just mark one hole to begin with, Okay, pull it off. Then you can drill that one hole, put your screw in, put your anchor in your screw in, and then you'll have something to mount this thing. You can hold it up there and, and do the rest of them. So let's go ahead and, and start the process. Okay, so it's a good idea to go ahead and at least get some, this tile is really smooth, to, to get some kind of indention started, just barely so the, the drill bit won't skate around on you. Um, you want to be really careful. You can use a nail, use a screw or anything. Just nothing, I just happen to have this little all punch here. And you really just want to barely get get kind of get something started there. Not a lot. If you go too much, you're gonna if you go too much. You might crack the tile. So you just really want something that's gonna allow you to, to keep to, to kind of catch the tip of that bill, drill bit. And then don't go too crazy. Just take your time because you don't want to crack the tile. So let it just take its time. There you go. Now, if you happen to hit a stud, like you, you can tell, you'll hit, you'll, you won't be able to just keep going through. That's not a bad thing. Just go ahead and uh, use a screw without the anchor. So but we've got these little anchors here, and what they are is they just basically they clamp, they wedge themselves into the hole, and as the screw goes in, it spreads out and, and grips the uh, side of the hole. So, and just way you put those in, you just tap them in with a hammer or whatever. So. Nothing fancy. You don't have to have this big old hammer. That just happens to be what I had handy. Okay. Get one of your screws out of your anchor kit. And go ahead and on the hole you were talking about, what the hole that we were looking for, and go ahead and just kind of uh, start the uh, screw gently into place. Let's get it started. Okay. Okay, so what I like to use, as opposed to a screwdriver, is just go ahead and use the drill. It just makes this a lot faster. And like you, you do not want to get this one tight. Okay. Just want to get it, you know, kind of, kind of in there. So it will um, hold the bar up while you do the, the rest of them. The rest of them. So kind of push it against the wall. And again, this is where you could use a level here if you wanted to, but really I'm just eyeballing this thing on the grout line to make it even. And about right there it looks perfect. Go ahead and um, mark your other. You can mark all your holes now if you want to. You might as well. Go ahead and take this back off now. Okay, so next step is to go ahead after we have all the holes drilled and get the rest of the anchors in place. Okay, well, the last step in the process is just to go ahead and screw this thing in. So we've got all the screws ready here. We'll go ahead and kind of start that one. Barely get it started by hand. Get the screwdriver on it and 
again, you don't want to tighten anything up yet. You just want to get everything kind of started. If you put one on both ends to get started, then that'll help you. You'll be good to go then. And again, you just want to get them all started. And the reason for that is because you've got uh, a little bit of play in these things that you may need to kind of, the holes have a little bit of play in them. You may need to move things up or down a little bit to make everything line up. And it's just a lot easier if you wait until you got all the screws started. Once you get them all started, you can just snug them up. Okay, it's good and solid now. In this particular one, so you just pop these ends back on. And there you go. We'll go ahead and clean the uh, pencil marks off with a, a wet thumb. And don't say you've never done that. I know you've done it to your kids when they have stuff on their face. So, I, um, that's all there is to it, it's putting up a handrail. If you've got a, um, you know, aging parents or somebody who has trouble getting in and out, you can do it in a very short period of time, just a few tools. Okay, so that was the handrail project. I want to briefly review the tools we used, just so that um, I kept having to go back and get more tools, so let me show you what we used. First of all, you need, obviously, the handrail. You need that. You need some um, anchors, in this case. I chose these, and they have a drill bit in them. I actually bought an extra drill bit, just in case. You need a drill, screwdriver, in this case I used the drill bit screwdriver on my drill, but a measuring tape, a pencil, a hammer, and some kind of little punch to, just to score the hole where the drill bit doesn't slip around. Doesn't have to be a big hammer like this or a fancy punch like this. A nail will work just fine. Okay, well I hope this has been helpful. If you think so and you like it, how about clicking the thumbs up down there and let everybody else know, let YouTube know you like it. Um, and consider subscribing to this channel if you like this kind of videos. I'm going to be putting out more. Thanks for, for watching. Thanks for your support. This is Brian with Basic Plumbing Repair. See you next time.